Are you ready for an out of this world challenge? Today we're putting the incredible power of artificial intelligence to the ultimate test. We've given ChatGPT access to every single part in KSP2 and tasked it with one of the most difficult missions in the game, creating a rocket that can reach orbit. That's right, we're pitting man against machine in an epic battle of space supremacy. Will ChatGPT rise to the challenge to create a rocket that can take us to the stars? Stay tuned to find out. I did not write that script. That was ChatGPT talking. Okay, so we want ChatGPT to make a rocket. To do this, I took a screenshot of every single part as seen here and put it through a text recognition software. This way I can take out all the important information such as mass, thrust, and fuel types. And then I can copy and paste all that data into ChatGPT and ask it to build a rocket for me using a few of those parts. Okay, so whenever I asked ChatGPT to make a rocket, I gave it specific instructions that it only had to get to orbit. Uh, apparently ChatGPT had other plans because it gave me a two-page paper of a seven-stage rocket. For the first stage, we have four of the largest X200 series fuel tank, along with four of the RS8800 adapters, which are these things right here, as well as the truck cap. Uh, so far we have zero engines on stage one. Next is the second stage. First we have an X200 size 8 fuel tank, a medium to small adapter, a JF50 fuel tank, a stack decoupler, a Mark II JFT400 fuel tank, which it thought it was an engine, and an RCL01 remote guidance unit. So far again, no engines. Now, I noticed while reading the instructions that the third and fourth stage were basically the same thing with slightly different parts. So I'll show the third stage here and the fourth stage on top of it. And if you thought that was crazy, just wait until you see the rest of the rocket. The fifth stage contains an Oscar B fuel tank, a TD-12 stack decoupler, an Explorer single seat lander can, and a remote guidance unit. The sixth stage also contains a single seat lander can, a two seat lander can, a remote guidance unit, and a cupola observation module. And on top of that for the seventh stage, we just have a five seat command pod. It's at this point where I would try to fly the rocket. However, ChatGPT completely forgot to put engines on this IKEA abomination. So I'm going to resort to pausing reinforcement to train it to stop being a disgrace to humanity. After talking some more with ChatGPT, I finally convinced it that it needs rocket engines to get off the ground. As a result, it gave me a three-stage rocket with a payload. So we obviously gotta try and build it. For the first stage, it's two Jumbo 64 fuel tanks, somehow four KS25 Mammoth engines, and four separate Tron solid rocket boosters. Like that's gonna do anything. For the second stage, ChatGPT provided us with one X200 size 32 fuel tank and an REL10 liquid fuel engine. We might be getting somewhere now. Next we have a 5 meter payload fairing as well as the payload that goes inside of it. The payload consists of one RCL01 remote guidance unit, a heat shield, and a service bay. And now that we actually have the rocket built, I think we have a fair shot of getting this to orbit. For the final rocket, I removed the three engines because obviously those aren't going to do anything. And then I added some struts because ChatGPT doesn't know that KSP2 is a pre-release and all the rockets are jello-y. So we get to launch and everything seems to be going great. The rocket seems super maneuverable because I used RCS until we got to 24,000 meters, which is when the rocket just started flipping. But I thought this was okay because we were still on our way to the highest point in the trajectory, which at that point we just need to stay horizontal and burn until we get to orbit, which is when I realized that we might not have enough fuel to do that. I continued burning anyway, just in case it was possible, and we did it. Look at that. ChatGPT finally made a rocket that can reach orbit. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe because these videos take an insanely long time to make and I do appreciate it. Also, I might be doing a part two, so if you like this content, you're not going to want to miss out.